Christofferson here again with another first listen review. And uh, I would be super excited about this one and I am kind of excited about this one because it's Pete Townsend and Pete Townsend is one of my favorite, if not my favorite artist of all time. Uh, so I will be babbling my butt off on this one. I'm talking about his new live box set here called Live in Concert, 1985 to 2001. 14 CD box set. Um, funny part is, I have all this stuff. I bought all this stuff way back when it was on Eel Pie Records <clears throat> coming out. Uh, I just, I, I'm a huge Pete Townsend fan ever since I first heard The Who like back in 82. Uh, you know, I was really young. That some, was something about them that struck me. I got all Pete, or, yeah, Pete's CD, or uh, solo releases, I mean, and just been a die-hard fan of his since. I hunted down his uh, Happy Birthday album and I Am and all that stuff. It took me years to find that stuff and I just, everything he does, <laughs> I hunt down. So even though I already have this stuff and it is remastered, although that really means nothing most of the time, um, I did go and get it and, uh, you know, it's just a, a powerhouse of a bunch of cool things. Um, so I'm just going to bust through it. They really didn't add anything to this. It's all the same stuff, um, except they put it all in a little box. Otherwise, if you have all this stuff already, um, and if you don't care about the remaster, then I wouldn't bother buying this. <clears throat> and uh, like I said, the remaster, I don't know. Sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it isn't. This one, I couldn't tell you the difference, quite honestly. But anyway, um, as far as the... Brighton Academy stuff goes. That one's been out there in a few different versions. Um, this is like the complete actual thing. Um, you know, I think it was the two different shows put together here, but maybe, no, no, it's, it's just one show. But uh, this is the one where it had uh, David Gilmore helping out. There's been stuff all over YouTube. It's been released on video and all kinds of stuff. This one's been out there for quite a bit. So if you don't have that one, um, you know, this might be worth, you know, getting and all that extra stuff that's on there. I'm kind of looking through it as I'm talking here. <laughs> um, but, you know, that one was fun. And then you've got uh, several of these are just Pete, just himself, playing with um, some accompaniment by another musician who I was trying to find his name here real quick, but the writing is so small on these things. I can't remember his name. John Karen, that's what it was. <laughs> and then you have, uh, you know, Chucho Marin fills in on bass on a couple of these here. You got Tracy Landgren and uh, Peter Hope Evans playing some, uh, you know, harp and stuff. But and then there's a couple that is just Pete by himself, where he plays with a little, uh, some pre recorded stuff, some tracks. Um, now I'm jumping all over the place here, but there's a lot to absorb here. So I'm not going to make this one a very long one, but I can tell you if you're a Pete Townsend fan, uh, like I am, these uh, ones are extremely, I don't know, they're all over the place. You get the full band to just him playing, but you get to hear like different versions and just different interpretations of him playing these songs, even different than the demos, because I have all the demo stuff, you know, Scoop, and then all the bootleg demos and stuff of uh, stuff he's done here. Um, but just... You know, I don't know. You just hear the different interpretations of it, even beyond that, and how he's decided he wants to play them on certain ones of these, uh, uh, you know, solo things. I know I'm kind of, I'm really babbling on this one, but uh, I'm trying to think what's my favorite one here. I, I know like the versions of Tattoo, which I remember they brought out doing some of the Who tours, which was an extremely popular song, and he does that on here, and his version of Eminence Front from La Jolla Playhouse couple of my favorites there um, and then he ended those shows with the electric version of you know won't get fooled again which is basically him just bringing on electric guitar and playing along to the track um, but then uh, a couple of the other ones that I thought were cool was his version of Baba O'Reilly on uh, the style as well as I thought was really interesting and he does more of the bigger who songs on that one where he's got you know actually sister disco is really cool relay and all the stuff from when he was they were doing the uh, Lifehouse Project, he does a lot of those in that particular um, show, then the song is over, and I mean, you got Bargain, Getting in Tune, all that stuff from that whole um, era is all from the Sadler's Wells one, so that was actually really cool to hear all that stuff together, <clears throat> but then, you know, and 
um, the Fillmore and uh, the uh, Empire ones. It's just stuff from all over his career. Um, and he, there's a cool song there called The Shout, which I think um, was, I don't remember that being on any album. I know I'm like blanking at the moment, but that one was like a really cool new, um, you know, experimental song he was doing at that point in time. I thought that was really interesting. One of my favorite songs of all time from him is I Am An Animal. You get to hear that at the Fillmore one. Um, I don't know if that was on any of the other ones here or not, but that's uh, one of my favorite ones right there. Uh, so, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. And the funny part is the, uh, the Brighton Academy, I know I'm bouncing around, the Brighton Academy one opens with Mary Ann with the shaky hand. I always tried to get the band I was in like way, way back to do that song, like a rocked up version of it. Could never get him to do it, but it's still fun to listen to Pete doing it here. But um, definitely cool to have you know Gilmore filling out on those. So anyway, that's my quick little rundown of it. I know if anybody doesn't have this stuff, you're going to want to get this stuff. It's cool. It's Pete. You got to have it. Um, so as always, feel free to share whatever it is that you want to share uh, that I have left out, which I'm sure is a lot of stuff. And as always. Like, share, and subscribe to keep this music alive because I want to hear some more stuff from Pete. He's still out there. They're still doing, I guess they're going to do another Who tour here. I've seen him four times myself, traveled all over the place to watch these guys. And uh, man, I want to see him again and I want to hear some more stuff. I just always want more from Pete. Can't get enough. So and until next time, we will see you.